Last Sunday, uh, I participated in ceremonies at uh, Grant's tomb. That's General Grant, that's Presidential Grant. And his great-great-grandson was there to speak on Grant's not wanting slavery. And some parts of the United States of America, they don't believe that the Union won. As I never saw that many Union uniforms, I have never seen so many Confederate flags that represent groups that are proud of the fact that they call themselves the Tea Party. Where do these Tea Party people, what, what areas of the country are they most comfortable? And I reached the conclusion they're from that part of the country that the states own slaves. I never thought in the 54 miles I marched with Dr. King from Selma to Montgomery that we ever would get the civil rights and the voting rights. But when we got it, somehow the Dixiecrats disappeared. And all of a sudden, they came up in the South as Republican. Republicans that really hate this president as much as their predecessors probably hated Abe Lincoln. And it was all about slavery. What the heck does it take for people to understand that you shouldn't hate the president so much that you are ready to destroy the Republican Party, the entire Congress, but most of all, the people of this great country? Well, I'm 84. And I guess I don't want to say anything that would jeopardize me getting to heaven without any hassles with St. Peter and the rest of them up there. But so I make an appeal to the priests and the ministers and the rabbis and the imams and saying, you know, this is, you deal with a higher authority. It's time for us to do And what that sign says, in God we trust, and we got to trust, and we got to fight, and we got to win.